Okay, Dutchie. Ready to go get breakfast? And you want that, the food? You want food? Come on, let's go. Let's go. I don't know if you can see past this tree, but there is a truck out there. And um, the farmer, one of his employees, uh, is unloading that truck for us. Um, so basically, we are getting that barn that's behind the tree that you can't see right now, but I'm up in my room, so, and I wanted to film this. Uh, our bunny goat barn is getting new siding all on it because um, the wood is is kind of rotting away and we want this this barn to stick around and be there for for forever basically so we're getting it put in um red uh siding i had posted a video on patreon and some photos on our instagram story of the goat side that got done but yeah so um i think they might be working on that today Anyways, yeah, it looks kind of messy down there. Like you can see in the bottom right corner that there is uh, some plastic, but that's also some metal siding that they're gonna be using. And I wonder if they're gonna be working today. They might be working all this weekend and week actually, because I think the weather's gonna be warmer and uh, they work pretty fast. So I don't know how quickly they're gonna get it done, but they might get it done, they might get it done quick. The only part that we're worried about is the doors, basically. Um, they're gonna have to put on new doors. The front um, of our barn is sliding doors, and I like those kind of doors, so we talked about, you know, keeping it like that. Um, everybody kinda likes that. In the winter, you don't have to deal with moving so much snow um, to get the door open. So that's nice. And then in the summer, you can totally open up that wall basically and let, uh, you know, breezes in and stuff. So yeah, that's, um, that's happening today. That's exciting. That's exciting that the metal came in because they said two weeks and, um, they ordered it. Ooh, I think it was Monday. So it hasn't been long at all. Very exciting. That's what I was talking about, yeah. And you can see the new wood planks they put horizontally on that side. There's some on the other side too for them to nail up the metal to. Do you girls match today? Do you girls have matching dresses today? How cute is that? How cute is that? Hi, Sonia. Good morning, Sonia. You girls match? Okay, that's the cutest thing ever. That's the cutest thing ever. Happy you like Miss Little Sonia? How are you today, baby? Good morning. So it is Vlogmas Day 3. I am about to open the Olive and June Advent. Then I'm going to have some coffee, we'll watch some Vlogmases. Um, and then today is a super, super busy day. Um, I have to photograph a pattern, hopefully get that pattern out tomorrow. It's gonna be the, um, this guy, the, the cowl I've been working on. And I am still between on names, so I haven't posted it yet. Uh, but also there's a shop update tonight. Um, there is a big shop update tonight with sock sets and mini skein sets that are all ready to ship. Um, some holiday, um, and especially some cute like plaid little ball bags. Um, there's a sock set that comes with a um, sock sack by Hannah Lou Designs. I'm just super excited. There's so there's so much to do today because the shop update is a lot of work. So I am probably not going to vlog a ton ton because I'm just going to be sitting at my computer all day. But maybe I'll put a little clip of me sitting in at the computer just so you can see just so you can see what that looks like. <laughs> But anyways, um, so yeah, let's open some advents. This is, this is my advent table right now. So this was day two, uh, one and two of the Return of the King and the Bridgerton advent, the Witcher advent. Um, I talked to Chrysalina and she says that this had to get reskained because it kept getting tangled every time she dyed it. Um, and then this guy and then I did do my nails last night I did a 
um, like warm gray and that sparkle that I got on day one. But um, yeah, so let's let's open this and hopefully hopefully we can get in it. But we have our trusty knife just in case if you are just popping in to this vlogmas uh, day one. Day one explains how we had to use the knife. Um, this looks like this could be another polish, but I'm not I'm not sure. Oh gosh. This is one thing about box advents is they are very difficult to open. Ooh, I think that's the top coat. Let's see if let's see if they are all as difficult to get out. No, this one isn't. Why was that one so that's so weird. This one was fine to get out. That first one though, we couldn't get out. Ooh, nice top coat. I just bought a top coat last night though, so well, whatever. You can't have enough top coats. There we go. Ooh, very exciting. And then I don't think I'm gonna open my yarn advents just yet. I think I'm going to leave them for this evening because I need a little pick me up. And I wanted to show the pretty sparkly art paper um advent this is day three right here oh it's like it looks like a little crib oh that's so cute that's so cute i like the, how there's like a little story going on here little dogs little crib a little friend in the ice <laughs> i love i love this it is such a vibe and of course, my shadow always goes on this. And it looks like somebody put day three on. We have the cardinal. Cardinals are like my favorite bird. I just love all the meaning behind them. And um, I love the way the females are colored too. They're just so cute. They're so cute. Time to pour some coffee. This is an English Angora. Well, it could be any type of angora, but it's a bunny rabbit. You can see the nose on the right and the eye in the center. He's kind of got his head turned. Um, we got this this year, actually, from the Lion Potter in um, at Maryland Sheep and Wool. I, I love their stuff. So I believe it is um, the husband. I don't know their names. <laughs> I don't know the names off the top of my head. The husband um, throws and makes a pottery, I believe. And then I believe the wife does the artistic etching. But we have a we have a couple of these. We have another smaller bunny rabbit, and then we also have um, a goofy chicken one. And I think that's it. But I love, I love like real um, stoneware, stoneware mugs because they stay warm so long. So I have my dash of milk in here and we are ready to go. So Queen Bee woke up early and she put a beautiful pot roast in the crock pot. So this is gonna be dinner. What are we gonna have with it? Oh, a salad. So and a salad, ooh, it's gonna be lovely. I'm so excited. I love slow cooker meals. They're somehow always spot on. And it's such a chilly day, so it's perfect for us. Yeah, you know, um, the weather said that it was going to be a high of 39 today. Uh, it looks like actually only 27, and it <laughs> is not updating. So this will be very, very good and make us all very happy and cozy. We are at the gift table. This package came today from England. I am so excited. This is from Cherie of Ali and Bella. Um, we did a little swap this year. I sent her an advent calendar, which I think is yet to arrive um, because we share a birthday month, December. And also um, I figured it'd just be fun to do a little swap with a friend, especially someone who's in another country. So I sent her, um, well, all of us bees sent her a Coquette Sock um, Lord of the Rings advent calendar. And she sent me this little box that I have no idea. I have no idea what's in it. So um, I am going to pop this open and show you guys what is in here. 
Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. <gasps> this is so sweet. You want to read? Look at her packaging. Okay, like, what is happening here? Now I feel, this is a birthday gift and this is a Christmas gift. Okay, so I'm gonna wait to open this on my birthday because, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, look at this cute, oh, and the little mini pops out. Look at how cute this, this packaging so is. This is so, this is so sweet. Thank you, Sherry, it's so sweet. And then look at this. Ah! I don't want to open it yet. I think uh, I, I don't want to open it yet because it's just it's just too pretty. I okay, just want to look at it. No, I want to look. I want to set it here and just look no, at it I'm for a few days. Oh. Okay, Queen Bee is here and she she insists. Okay, so and then the lighting is all weird. Here, so. Let's see. But um, okay. Let's see. Look at how cute this is. All right. That is too tender. That is too tender and sweet. Look at this. Well, this is going to have to go on my tree upstairs. Both of these guys will. That's just too cute. Just too cute. Look at her little, like, washy wrapping. She really, she really goes above and beyond, doesn't she? Look at this. <laughs> Those are so cute, the little... Look at the cute little it. washi. Yeah. And then I saw her opening gifts and saying, oh, I'm going to save this tape for later. So <laughs> I thought that was too darling. So I am going to save this and I'm going to put it in my Christmas journal because that is too cute. This tape is, is very cute too. So I'll do the same and you can still see the... <laughs> You can still see the little um, stars. I actually really like for scrapbooking using um, the wrapping paper. It's such a good little thing to do, like putting behind your photos and layering and everything. Like even with it torn and crumpled a little, it really adds to the effect. But oh, this is so cute. Like this paper is so cute. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look at these colors. West Green Loft Yarns. Oh, that's super cute. And then, I don't know if they, it looks like Wiggly. <laughs> I'm going to call it Wiggly. Classic Sock Set. I'm sure that they pronounce W-G-L-Y maybe, but West Green <laughs> Loft Yarns. But I, it looks like Wiggly. <laughs> Wiggly Classic Sock Set. Christmas bauble set. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Actually, when we were walking around Home Goods yesterday and we didn't get anything, but the whole pink aisle, I was like, this is such a vibe. And oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Oh, this will make lovely holiday socks or honestly, it's so beautiful. I almost want to just make a shawl out of it. Like how pretty would this be? Um, striped in with some like sponge sugar brushed alpaca, like Mm -hmm. That would be lovely. Okay, that is just too pretty. And then make look sure you look at it really close now and love it now because it might get stolen later. Queen bee, you are you. <sighs> it might be go missing. Oh my gosh. Oh, what does it say here? It says hand dyed by Vicky McIntosh. She seriously does a lovely job. And then this mini is just adorable. And honestly, they they kind of go together. Then we have this bit of twine. And another package, more cute tape. I will save your tape, Sherry. <laughs> I don't know if it'll peel off this one. Oh, it doesn't want to release from this one as much. Tear Darn the package. it! Tear it! Darn it! Okay, Tear it. Says we're tearing. You I will save the paper though. There. Okay. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. That's it's an Ollie and Bella oh, bag. I'm ashamed that. to say it's my first oh. Ollie and Bella bag. Ah! Okay, look at how. Okay, can you see this print? How oh, her and her gingerbread. precious is this? And it totally 
goes. It totally so goes with both of these. Okay, that's just, that is just sick. That is just sick and really <laughs> cute. Okay, that, ugh. hold on, I wanna, I just wanna get the whole vibe. Just too cute. Okay, all right, I will set these aside and see what else. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, this is cute. Oh, like a it. coaster, you maybe. You know the little um, candle holder, the tiny Yes! Side? Perfect, we can place the candle <laughs> like thing right there. It'll uh, be cute on oh, the table, Oh, that'll be perfect. Actually. I'm just like, I oh, can't gosh, imagine okay, putting a like, drink it. on oh, this okay. or anything like that. Like, okay, it's too cute. It's too cute. Like, it's too pretty. Oh my goodness, what else is in here? And I didn't send her any sweets, and I'm very sorry about that. I told you to. Yes, but we had already wrapped the box. But look, see? Look at how cute. Oh, that is very cute. You know? That is like, that's cute. such a fun. That's perfect. That's oh my perfect. Gosh, isn't that that's super a perfect cute? little place for it where it won't get damaged in any way because that is just too sweet. All right. Okay. You know, a nice cup of tea. Yeah. Of I will take a better, a better video of this later. Yeah, what, Ooh, she's... instant coffee. Yeah, with the Yorkshire tea. <gasps> Yorkshire tea. <gasps> oh my gosh, all these treasures. Sure, you really went above and beyond. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. Little decor to go on the tree. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, and a cute little pin. Oh my goodness. Punky pins. And it's an adorable, adorable little, little peppermint candies. Candy canes and the peppermint candies. It'll be super cute on your bag. It will go perfectly. Ah! Okay, I can't even. I can't even with all this. She went, she did too much. She did too much. And this is loft, uh, West Green Loft yarn. So same from the, uh, this guy. What is this? Oh, it's such a sweet little progress keeper. It's a little clock that totally reminds me of um, the Nutcracker. That's so cute. Oh, that's so sweet. She just went crazy. And then more of the sweet tape. Will I be able to save this one? Who knows? I can! I can save it! I know, Queen Bee's probably like, what are you doing? Shh, 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 shh. No, I know that's perfect for the journals. Yeah, it's perfect for the journals. Memory making. It really is perfect for the journals. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm saving washi. She sent me some washi. <laughs> oh, this one is so cute. It has like little Santas and this has little Santas on it. And I'm hoping that this is focusing. And little snowmen and Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer and Christmas trees. And this one, oh, these are so sweet. Well, this will make the cutest little journal spread, won't it? Oh my goodness. And then also... Cadbury <laughs> chocolate. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Cherie. Like seriously, I can't believe you also sent me a birthday gift. That is insane. I just, I can't. Thank you so much. And I think like, I can't even decide what I love more. This is so sweet. This is just gonna go, this is gonna go on the gift table over here. I don't know, I probably can't see it, but I will show in a minute. We have a very jealous little peach here wondering where her, where her swap is. You don't get one, honey. You don't know how to knit. You don't know how to knit, honey. She's like, but you knit me stuff. Aw. <laughs> she hates when she's not, she's not part of things. So we have the adorable, adorable little crochet. I don't know what to call it. I'm just gonna call it the crochet treasure. It is so cute. Look at that. It's perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect for this candle. And I will keep it here. I will move it over over there. 
so you can see it in the following days. And this, uh, this is all the little treasures she sent me. I'm just, I am floored. Thank you so much, Cherie. This is seriously so sweet. Probably one of the most exciting things that I have <laughs> ever received because it was completely a surprise and you went above and beyond like so thoughtful just everything so thank you so much I am delighted by this Miss Peach loves to set herself up on this chair the only problem is is that the back uh strings that hold the the cushion on the chair have fallen off um and sometimes when she jumps up it slides right off and she goes slide off it as well but um yeah you having a lovely day a lovely day three of vlogmas mm -hmm. beautiful little girl so senbi and i just finished photoing the new cowl i think i i'm gonna name it the winter witch cowl because it looks so so cozy and like wintry and i just love it so, um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. My puppy's barking in the background as always. Um, but yeah, no, I'm very happy with it. So I was just filming a little Instagram story with the new, I've decided on a name, Winter Witch Cowl. Um, I was just filming outside and this is blowing my coloring out. Um, but I talked about how warm this is. This is so warm. It is brushed alpaca and uh, merino yarn held two strands together. It is so lightweight and just so cozy. And it only, um, I was only wearing this, this like short sleeve shirt and jeans. And the only thing cold on me right now are my hands. That is how warm this is and how good it is at keeping your core warm. And the temperature outside right now is, let me let me look real quick so I don't get it wrong. So it is 27 degrees Fahrenheit outside and it feels like 16 degrees. That's the official weather report right now because the wind chill is so bad. So I was standing out in the freezing cold wind and everything. The only thing cold on me right now is my hands and arms that didn't have my shirt blocking the wind. That is how cozy and warm this is. And I just, I love it. It has such good stretch to go up around your eyes and nose and stay up there. It's perfect for hiking. It's perfect for outdoor adventures. It is just, it is divine. The only downside is <laughs> it is super warm. <laughs> so you can't really wear it indoors for very long, I don't think. Um, at least not if you're wearing like a ton of sweaters but I just I love it it is so delectably soft like I could live in this right now anyways yeah I'm just I'm just so excited I'm so happy with how it turned out Dutchie honey <laughs> you relaxing I'm in the middle of doing the shop update and Peach just lays on this bed in the kitchen yeah yeah, by the dining room table, aren't you a cute little baby? Aren't you so cute? Yeah, you're just a little princess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like your pants. They're cute. You're so cute. Hey guys, so this is the last segment of the day. I am going to open Advents real quick here and just tell you guys about the day. Um, so we had dinner um, while well, I did the shop update and everybody was eating dinner around me because I kind of like pushed it to last minute <laughs> um, unintentionally. Uh, 
Yeah. Thank you to everybody who shops at the shop update. Other than that, uh, Senbi and I did that photo shoot earlier. That was exciting. It was very cold out, but that cowl is ridiculously warm. And, um, hmm. I have to do my chores still for tonight. And then I think that I am just gonna get this up and relax a little bit. I'm hoping, now that I'm looking at my schedule, Send Bee, or not Send Bee, Queen Bee, Carissa, the, the matron of the family. <laughs> matron sub makes her sound old. I don't like that. Um, the Queen Bee, the Queen Bee of Bumblebee Acres and Bro B, the youngest Bumblebee, but the one who handles all of the farm stuff, are going to Disney World on Monday. So I have to take them to the airport and then um, get back home. But yeah, so that's exciting and stressful because they're gonna be gone, oh, I think it's like around a week. And Bro B has not been like on a vacation since the last time we went to Disney World, which was 12 years ago. Yeah, so he hasn't really been on a vacation. Queen Bee, other than work trips, hasn't been on a vacation either. So they are going on a much needed vacation and they chose Disney World and I'm so excited for them. Uh, it's gonna be really sad and weird not having them here during Vlogmas, but uh, us uh, younger girl bees, us little baby girl bees, baby girl bees? No. <laughs> Anyways, us uh, girl bees will be having a blast and we will be taking care of the farm, packing orders and uh, yeah, but anyways, it's gonna kind of like eat into my releasing a pattern at time. I'm gonna hopefully try to get it done tomorrow, but tomorrow, Sunday, is supposed to be kind of like my day off. So I have to go and see some people. I have to see Hannah, Hannah Lou Designs. I have to go see her and drop off a Christmas present that I got her and um, because it's an advent calendar <laughs> and it came late, it only arrived this morning so it's a few days late but i want to get that to her right away and then i have to see another friend and then um yeah so i had already made those plans i'm hoping to get the the pattern out but we'll see i have to edit photos basically all i have to do is edit photos and upload it to ravelry reformat the pattern because i just have it in rough draft form but it's not hard it's just it just takes some time. So I don't know. And I hate doing that. I hate saying like, cause earlier today I was like, Oh, I'll have it done tomorrow because shop updates always happen on Fridays. For some reason, my brain thought again that like today was Friday, but it's Saturday. So I messed myself up. I messed myself up here. Anyways, let's open, let's open Advent. So first is return of the King day three. I love the packaging this this year. I mean, we have always done, I'm sorry, my phone said the battery's about to die, which is why this is the last segment of today. We have always done um, these type of packages, but this year I did a specialty. Um, we've always wrapped them like Christmas crackers. This year I did a specialty um, sticker on each one. So I designed and printed all of those and um, we decided to do twisty ties to speed up production because we used to tie um like baker's twine by hand on every single one and that is just so many of us now have joint problems from processing yarn all the time um in our hands so doing little ties can be difficult for us oh i remember wrapping this one <laughs> So we used inspiration and quotes this you'll find if you got to the Return of the King Advent that all almost all of it is quotes from the Return of the King film because we love it so much. Fun fact, I saw that 12 times in theater when it came out. I was a kid. I was 13, 14, 13 or 14 when it came out. Uh, no. I was eight when the first movie came out, so maybe I was 11, 12. Anyways, I was very, very young. And I 
Yeah, I must have been 12. I must have been 12. I saw it between my friends and the other bees 12 times because it was, we had a very, very inexpensive movie theater nearby where it was only like $6 or four or $6 a ticket. So <laughs> it was a very inexpensive and unlimited popcorn refills. So it was a very inexpensive way for us to uh, go and have some fun. And we were huge fans. Um, but this one, day three is called You Smoke Too Much Pip. So it is a very much a peregrine took color. And let me show you guys this guy. It's a beautiful blue and greens with some brown. It's got some really cute, intense speckling on it. Um, so we have that one. And we have Bridgerton. Super excited about Bridgerton. Woo. Um, I did say that I knit my Ponceau de Monet. Uh, scarf in Bridgerton, my Bridgerton advent. So a little secret is that I am opening Queen Bees. She does not mind. I feel very bad about it, but I am opening hers for the sake of vlogmas. And whoever did day three put the labels on upside down. So, but it's not that big of a deal, but we have a label and the color for today is diamond of the first water and come on focus 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 sorry guys i filmed these segments in um well i filmed these segments in cinematic so my background's a little more blurred but i uh it doesn't want to always focus on the yarn. So this is almost just a tonally blue. It has a lot of shades of like Daphne Bridgerton blues in there. Um, a little bit more of a, it's, it's not quite teal, but it has a little bit of a tint of a teal in there. Um, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And the Witcher Advent. I'm so happy with these advents this year. And then like the little, I'll show you guys the, the popping of the seal. Ooh. And this one, of course it tore, of course, of course I tore this one, but oh my gosh. It's so exciting breaking the seal. Ooh, it is this beautiful, beautiful brown sparkly skein. Oh, this is lovely. There's so many tones in this. Um, Chris and Lena did an amazing job with the depth of these colors and the different dye jobs are just like, just insane. The color for today is Todd Ringer and Fen. And if you are interested, she does have posted on her uh, Instagram, the Nitty Vampire, a little explanation of each colorway for each day. If you are interested, I have been looking at those. But that is the minis, <laughs> the minis for today. They are super beautiful. And I am not sure what I'm doing with my Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this one, but I may just because it's gonna bother me, I may just ask Crystalina if she can dye me first year's advent too. I'm not sure yet. It is, it is a financial investment, but I am really wanting it. So yeah, it's making me want to read the Witcher books though. I have to work through, um, I'm reading the Vampire Chronicles, rereading them actually. I read them a very long time ago. The first three and a half books. I read part of the fourth one. I don't think I finished it because I don't really remember all of it, but I did read the first um, Vampire Chronicles books by Anne Rice and I loved them. I absolutely loved them. We watched the new um, AMC show. So good. It is gory. So, I mean, if you like gore, watch it. It is good. It is the aesthetic, the acting, the filming, oh my gosh, it is just, the effects, so good. It is, I cannot, so good, chef's kiss. Anyways, there, 
will be colors. There will be colorways coming for that. But um, now I got off topic. I have to finish reading those before I go down any other rabbit holes. And I'm still in the middle of listening to um, the Discovery of Witches audiobook. So I'm a little, I'm a little busy right now, but I do want to read the Witcher books. I just need more time. I need like a second Sam that can read books. I also want to reread the Lord of the Rings series and read the Silmarillion. I just do, I just, I don't have time. The past few days I have woken up at 8, 8.30. Usually that's, that's pretty early for me. Usually because I'm chronically ill with diabetes and other autoimmune issues, I go to bed at um, well, I'll take a nap in the middle of the day, which is one benefit to working for myself because usually I'm just so run down by the middle of the day. Take a nap, wake up, work late into the night, and then, you know, sleep when I can. I also have insomnia. Anyways, maybe this is too much information, but, um, I, oh, I have not been napping and I haven't been sleeping until way past midnight, like 2, 3 a.m. So I've been getting like five hours of sleep and working literally like non-stop in between so I need my break tomorrow I don't know about the pattern now because of that so because I, I just need a little bit of a break and I also want to spend some time with Queen Bee before she leaves I know I see her every day but it's still so weird to have her leave. <laughs> it's so weird for me because usually when she leaves I go with her I'm a little codependent. <laughs> no, I mean, like, we're we're best friends. Like, all of us bees. We're best friends together. So, that's just that. We're like, uh, you know, it's... I know it's not very typical in American, uh, very, like, Western culture. But since our grandma was um, an immigrant from Latvia, and that's how Latvians live, is they... Um, live you know several generations in a household you know that's how we grew up so it's just kind of like you know we're that's the core unit the family and we just hang out together and all that stuff um and the other side of the family was italian and they're very much the same thing you know italians if they're not living together they live like next door to each other <laughs> or at each other's houses all day every day <laughs> so that's um that's just kind of like our, our vibe. So it's going to be very weird not seeing each other every day. <sighs> Especially during the holidays. I don't know why we agreed to have them go at this time. But there's going to be some kind of like crazy like Mickey Mouse Christmas party they're going to. Which is so cute and so exciting for them. Um, and if you're wondering why my cupboard is open in the background. That's because our dishwasher is on the other side of the cupboard and it heats up and then everything inside the cupboard gets very hot so we just like to let it vent a little bit because we keep like jarred foods and canned foods and such things in there anyways this has been like a long outro but I did I did open these and talk about them so <sighs> anyways guys that's it for the evening I made this a little longer than I planned but I'm happy to have spent the time with you I hope you enjoyed vlogmas day three I hope that your day three of December has been going wonderfully and happy holidays bye <laughs>